And in regards to women voting, you know, that was the worst thing that ever happened to America, too. Look at us now. Women overwhelmingly vote um, on their emotions. And their emotions, and the liberals are very good at appealing to emotions. Oh, look at these migrant children, they have nowhere to go. Look at these, uh, this pregnant migrant woman, she has nowhere to go. We have got to open up our borders and give her cash assistance for the rest of her life here in America. And women vote for that. They vote to have uh, uh, weapons taken away, our Second Amendment rights taken away. Women used to vote, uh, they used to not vote because their husband would make the choice for them. Now, if just our husbands and landowners were voting, we'd be in a much better place than we are now. We'd have closed borders, we'd have uh, no infringements on our Second Amendment rights, red flag laws would be a thing of the past. And uh, we as women wouldn't be, you know, have such authority and power over who gets into elected office because we don't deserve it. The way that women vote, it's been terrible. I'm apologizing as a female voter for the rest of my fellow female voters. It's almost like Herschel Walker. If you listen to it long enough, you're like, wait, where are we going? How do we take this many turns? Lauren Witzke doesn't want women to vote, as you heard there. She's pretty vehement about it. The ironic part is that she ran for office. So wait, should you hold office or should you <laughs> not vote? Who should vote for your ass? Men, rich landowners, as you said. You know what we'd have, as you said, you know what we'd have if we had like just the rich white men and landowners voting like we used to and men making decisions for their wives, we'd have indentured servitude. We'd have slavery. In fact, that's what we had when we went through all those same things that you were talking about. Cool, fine, whatever. You love it. Or you're trying to just, I don't know, get kicked off of the not get kicked off of the train of stupidity. And the hatred of the country, I guess you choose your sides. Uh, let's discuss this part first because I want to give you guys more details of who Lauren Witzke is and how this isn't anything uh, new. Uh, but again, Awaz, she ran for office, bruh. And she d- thinks women vote uh, emotionally. Think about that part. I'm listening to her um, and I'm thinking like, what is the woman version of Uncle Tom? Cause that's what she is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's whatever that is. <laughs> uh, like this is just the most sexist, misogynist rhetoric possible. Um, I I don't even think you would see something like this on, you know, dark corners of YouTube like the Manosphere. This is as bad as it gets, honestly. Mm-hmm. This is worse than Jordan Peterson. This is worse than all of that. This is the the most ridiculous rhetoric as it pertains to women. Um, that is possible. This, but there's a reason why they know this. I've said it before too. When the grift, when 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 you make money off of saying ridiculous things and supporting people with money and all that, so they can pay you to say that same stuff. There's so many of these folks in this business now. You have to be crazier than the last one. So she has to go over the top. She has to be crazier than the people that are telling her to say this stuff. So she has to be crazy about it. Oh my God, women, they shouldn't be able to think. You know what? If they put on shoes, they should be arrested. You have to go further because. The craziness has already been said. Let's go to some of the craziness that she said in the past. This is a pattern, watch. Real position is that women are our currency to be bartered and uh, traded. You know, we see in the Bible, it's not biblically unfounded. It's a lot lot like I'm making stuff up and, and being disrespectful or anything. But it's like, you could trade a nice virgin bride for a half a dozen yoke of oxen. And I think if we went back to that, and got rid of all this feminism crap, forget about your master's degree, forget about your career and just go mommy mode. That's what I believe in. Yeah, do you uh, do you uh, think that, I think that they should also like, you know how there used to be like dowries back in the day, like in the biblical, yeah. Community, you'd have to like, yeah, I think that we should bring that back. Yeah, yeah, we should bring that back. You know, put a put a yoke around my neck and just run me out in the field. That'd be great. That's the life that I want. And after all of this groveling and and sucking up, uh, Yano, Yano, Milo, Yiannopoulos, um, this is the response that the folks that she sucks up to and kneels and kisses the ring of. This is what they say, not behind her back. In this case, it was, but I'm sure they say it to her face too. Let's watch that. You right? Bird keeps. <laughs> If you're watching this, you dumb. Sorry, I shouldn't say that. You know, there's a headline today. It said, um, 
oh, she's going to kill me. She's never going to speak to me again. There's a headline that said, Lauren Whiskey proves that the brain can leave the body by saying that uh, Putin has a Christian whatever. So I photoshopped it to say, Lauren Whiskey proves the brain can leave the body by still not quitting the Stu Peter show. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry, babe. Um, <laughs> Your people, just your people, Lauren. I guess you can keep sucking up to them.